Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you to all the subscribers. That's great. I wasn't really expecting to get any subscribers, to be completely honest. Uh, I'm just doing this for me. I enjoy unboxing videos and I wanted to try my hand at video editing and seeing how that works and that process and that sort of thing. So thanks for the, the subscribes and the likes and the views and I appreciate it. It makes me feel warm and happy. Um, so today um, I am doing an unboxing video of the Cause Box, welcome box that I got. Um, so I've been seeing ads all over Facebook, YouTube, Instagram for the different like FabFitFun and Causebox and all these other types of wellness lifestyle boxes and uh, wanted to try the Causebox because I, tr I really appreciate that they are trying to do more fair trade and they're trying to do supporting causes like domestic violence or women's shelters or just um, helping out other women and other uh, people that are impoverished or trying to do kind of like 10,000 villages style, which I really love and I love that style. And especially in this crazy time of the pandemic, we need to support uh, small businesses and that sort of thing. So this is the spring welcome cause box. It's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. Um, I paid about $35 plus shipping with this box because there was a coupon code. It's normally so this the way this box works is it you get a welcome box and it's you it's four times a year so it's court you pay quarterly and you get a discount if you do a yearly subscription um but i only wanted to try the one box just because i'm low income and i'm trying to try out a bunch of different boxes and see what i like the best and then focus on that that company in that box so i wanted to try the welcome box see how that was what the value was um so for monthly subscriptions it's 55 dollars uh, Canadian and then for the yearly subscription is about um, you save about $20 over the course of the year so you get about four or five dollars off each box um, which is not bad and it came through FedEx and they didn't I didn't get stuck with uh, any sort of extra charges which is great and it came in a decent amount of time considering uh, the time of year and you know obviously the pandemic and stuff um, so I'm super excited they promised a swell bottle in each welcome box so I'm super pumped about that and then I'm really interested to see what other types of stuff it smells fantastic I can smell it already um, so yeah so here we go and voila whoops <laughs> it looks cool and it's got cause box on the inside and it's like a, a mirror color palette from the outside to the inside so it's got blue on the outside and green on the inside which I'm all about that, which is really cool. Okay, so here is the Causebox little info card. And on the back, it says, what do we stand for? And then on the inside, it's just, just different types of things. The other really cool thing about yearly, yearly subscriptions versus monthly is you, the customization option. So you can customize like either, say in like the next box, they said that you can get this really cool crossbody bag. Uh, and the customization aspect of that would be you could choose the color or you could choose between two or three different products and choose the product you want. And there's also obviously an add-on market, which I did look at, didn't order any add-ons because nothing kind of jumped out at me as I need this in comparison. I honestly was, was drawn in by the Swell bottle because I have a ton of like off-brand bottles like this. Like this one's a Mana one and I've got, my daughter loves them. She's only eight months old and she loves like, the top is really cool for her to chew on. She doesn't have any teeth yet, so she's, uh, she chews on everything so she loves these bottles she loves hitting them against things because they sound really cool when you hit them so uh, I'm depending on the swell bottle I don't think I'm gonna let her play with it just because usually they're more expensive the mana bottle was like I think like ten dollars not even um, but yeah and even on the front if you look she's holding a swell bottle so I'm hoping I get a really cool like print or something that'd be sweet um, the add-on market, it says here, is only open for 10 days, right at the beginning of the season. And it's uh, curated specially to accompany your seasonal box. Um, and then on the back, it says a little bit about what they stand for. It says artisan made, empowers their makers in the most human way. Uh, charitable, they give back, the, we search for companies that give back in every kind of way. 
uh, clean beauty. So the search for partner companies that are committed to cruelty free and using ingredients that are good for our skin, our bodies, and our planet, which is cool. And then B Corporation, a certified B Corporation are businesses that meet the high standards of social and environmental performance, transparency, and legal accountability to balance profit and purpose. So they are a uh, for-profit business, but with a purpose, which I really love. And then these are all the spoiler cards here. There's a bunch of them. So I will save those for later. Let's dive right in here. It's got a really pretty sticker on it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the thing that I've been wanting and dying for, and I love this print, is this swell bottle. This is like life. I love this. So it's swell on the bottom, and it's normal double wall tumbler hot or cold swell bottle it's got the swell on the side there i love this print i'm usually not a fan of like snake print type stuff but i love the color variation so loving that that's really cool and then next up funny official cleansing sponge that's the box it's really pretty and it's in infused with french pink clay for normal to dry and sensitive skin types so for everybody except for oily skin which i have combination skin i had cystic acne growing up needed to do like that whole accutane fun so i still suffer from some cystic acne still in certain places but uh hopefully this will help out oh this is super cute and then you can see and it's quite hard but it should soften up once you wet it mm, that smells really good that's really cool and it says 100% natural and biodegradable. So that's cool. Next up. Oh, this is what was smelling so good. Mm, yeah, lavender and chamomile Epsom salt bath bomb by Level Naturals. So this is what it looks like. Sorry about the glare. It's just a really cool little, it's really beautiful smelling bath bomb. I don't actually have that good of a bathtub, like I live in an apartment so it's pretty, and I'm 5'9 and also a uh, curvy woman so it's hard for me to do the whole bath thing uh, in a, a tub that's probably like a quarter of the size it needs to be for me. Uh, but when my daughter gets older I'll, I'll probably use this for her. Uh, it's not safe for her as a baby right now because she'll just eat it. Um, but when she gets a bit older, I'll put this off to the side for something I can do as a cool thing or maybe a gift for one of my friends. All right, next up from Vitev. That's really cool packaging. It's just simple. It's got white, white writing on it, which is really cool. I like the aesthetic of that. Daily hair vitamin. Nourish your hair with all the love it needs in one easy leave-in solution. I love leave-in solutions. My hair gets really frizzy and dry. Especially during the winter. Um, during the summer, it's not so bad, but during the winter, it's really, really dry. So, cool. Okay, so you got your pump head, and you've got the. It's about. It says it's four ounces, 118 milliliters. Apply to wet hair directly after cleansing and conditioning. Uh, depending on how your hair length, one to three pumps, I'm going to be three because my hair is super long. <laughs> uh, all mine. So <laughs> I grew it. <laughs> and then they also give you a branded Vitev comb, thick tooth comb, which apparently I've been brushing my hair wrong since like birth because um, I watch Brad Mondo a lot and he's like, these are what you need for thick hair with tangles, not the like normal brushes which is like excuse the hair but like i use this brush and yeah apparently that's hair horrible for my hair and why i have so many split ends because i've also not had a hair cut in well i i hadn't had a hair cut in a while I usually only go twice a year because i have really bad haircut experiences and i have a hard time trusting uh people with my hair so uh Dressed in strength and dignity, she laughs without fear of the future. I love that. I'm going to put that up somewhere. That's a really cool quote. I love that. Vitev believes in spreading love always. Show us some love by following us on Instagram at Vitev underscore hair. So I'll link their Instagram down below. And this is super cute. I love this. 
I, these bo like these boxes I was kind of iffy about because I'm I'm more of a pop culture fan as you can tell from like the artwork and stuff I'm more of a into art and music and like collecting vinyls and stuff like that but uh, and I don't really do like I buy hair products I don't really think about it or like I buy beauty products or like things that are the cheapest because I'm low income so I try I, I usually go with cheapest is, is easiest even though like logically economically doesn't make any sense if you buy something more expensive right off the hop it's gonna last you longer so you're spending less money overall than buying the same thing cheaper over and over and over and over again but logically speaking it makes more sense to spend the money up front but because I usually don't have the money up front I usually buy the cheap thing over, over and over and over again but that said <laughs> I love this. I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm glad that some, like, I can't imagine what the retail value of this entire box is going to be because, like, this is crazy. It's already, I know the swell bottle is already like 50, 60 bucks because I've seen them in like chapters for forever and wanted one since I was like, in university, but never got around to getting one. And then this is a cool, oh, cool. It's a poncho. That's really cool. It's a little wrinkly, but. This is a beautiful sunny poncho and it's got, I'm not a poncho person, but I might turn into one depending on how this looks on me because this, I'm not a pink person, like even though my hair, my hair is fading into pink, but it was very much like this kind of a purple color when I first dyed it. Purple is my favorite color. I'm not a pink kind of person, but might have to change my tune on this one. This is really pretty. And this is from Tribe Alive. It's a one size fits all, handmade in India, which is awesome. I love that. And it, and the best thing about those ba that bath bomb is that this smells like that bath bomb. <laughs> I love that. Um, and if it ends up not being my style, I might try and either um, gift it away to someone that I would think would love it, or even maybe try to sell it at a discount just that way. It doesn't go to waste. Oh, and the other thing too, I didn't show. It's got fringes. I thought it was a when I opened it. I thought it was like a like a scarf, and I thought that was really weird for spring because it's usually not scarf weather in spring, like late spring. Cause this came like these come in June, so I was just like it was a little confusing. But the poncho makes more sense because then you can wear it to the beach, which won't be happening this summer. That's okay. <laughs> It might. We'll see. We'll see how the Alberta is, uh, as of today, when the, I'm filming this video, Friday the uh, 12th, uh, we're opening into stage two. So certain things are starting to open up again. And then stage three is scheduled for some time in July, which means that the, uh, the recreational centers will slowly start opening up again. They're not going to be doing the pools. They're not doing any of the outdoor water, which sucks because it's for summer for Kaylin and I wanted her to experience like the full fun of summer, but we'll figure it out if we have to go somewhere and find a little private private beach just outside the city, we might do that. Okay, so that's everything. Let's see, so remember, I spent with my discount was $35, but we'll just consider $55 Canadian um, for the full price. Um, so it says on these cards, each card says, our mission is to bring sustainable, and ethical products to everyone. So this is about the Vitiv hair vitamin. It's thirty dollars. So already I've recouped. <coughs> excuse me, recouped what I've uh, spent on that box, which is cool. So that's thirty dollars. And I think these prices are American prices, so it's a little bit different. I'll have to calculate conversion rates and stuff, but that's okay. The Wild, oh, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm a musician and I studied phonetics, but I still had issues. <laughs> w Y L D, wild. That makes complete sense. Okay, French pink clay cognac sponge was sixteen ninety, which is expensive for a sponge. But we'll try it and see what it's like. So it's a soft exfoliator, helps clean out your pores with soft, even glowing, soft, even glowing skin also plastic free. I'm trying to go plastic free and use silicone. Anyway, the Epsom salt bath salt bomb. It's 
seven dollars which is cool so we're up to 30 46 oh math's not my strong suit 53 dollars just from the four items not including the slow bottle which was is usually retailed around 50 dollars canadian so holy crap okay <laughs> the caftan cover-up as it's so wonderfully called and i love me a good alliteration uh from tribe alive this blows me away okay i will give you two minutes or you know 20 seconds to guess how much this cost just in the comment section okay you ready this this like took my breath away a little bit it's 118 dollars what <laughs> How? how like okay i understand fashion i get it i'm like i try to be like fashion forward but not trendy like i i'm not like hip. um but like i enjoy fashion and stuff and i watch a lot of like fashion youtubers and i love fashion stuff like magazines and stuff but 118 dollars like i get that it's fair trade so that and it's an artisan product from India. I just, it's a lot of money for a cover up. But hey, as long as these pe the people who worked on this get in the company get what they deserve for this product, then I, don't know, I just think fashion is just a whole thing. And John Oliver did a whole like video. I love John Oliver last week tonight. It's like the best thing ever that has ever existed. And I'll link the video about fa fast fashion um, in this in, in the description. It's worth a look because fast fashion is scary. It, it, I'm trying to be more mindful of what I'm buying. I'm trying to stay away from companies that have had problems with um, child slavery, you know, labor laws problems in the past. And unfortunately, a lot of those companies are companies that I actually enjoy using like old navy um and now that i have a baby like the children's place and that sort of thing i'm trying to stay away from that because it's just i don't want to support things like that and i'm trying not to buy like things like nestle chocolate that does support child labor uh, or does use not necessarily support but like they use child labor in other countries to get the cacao nibs and stuff like that but still 118 dollars like that seems like a high high markup uh, but, okay, so using high quality cotton, a team of artisans from across India wove the fabric, which was then sent to Jaipur, where it was hand stitched by the Tribe Alive team. Through this partnership, we supported a team of female ar artisans, empowering them with safe, meaningful employment at fair wages. That makes me feel a lot better. I should have read the card before going on that giant long rant. <laughs> Even though fast fashion is still terrible, I can fully support this um, and their statement. If they're paying all of these people fair employment wages and they're also like going all across and it's hand stitched, I love that. That is really cool. Um, so I'm on board. I don't know if it's my style. I might never wear it. Uh, I don't wear caftans. It's not something I look good in. As a bigger woman, it makes you look bigger, I think. At least it look, makes me look bigger. Um, and also being a tall woman, it just, it cuts me at a wrong spot most of the time. And I'm just, it's not, it's not a flattering look. Obviously I got my double, double, triple the box price. Cause this alone, $118, doubled the box price for it. And then triple with the swell, quadruple, I think with the other three items that I got. So. Thanks for tuning in. So, so yeah, total came out great. I love this box. Um, I will try FabFitFun or I'm gonna try a different box or I'll just take a break. We'll see how my finances are in a little bit and we'll just go from there. And uh, I do enjoy these unboxing videos. So I could also do little hauls or like show around my apartment some of the artwork that I have because I do have some really cool art that I've picked up over the years. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, leave a comment or a like or subscribe. Um, and if you like this video, please feel, f I'd love to uh, hear what you thought. If you have any constructive criticism, please feel free to message me 
Um, I know very little about video editing. I am more of a photo editor uh, with my photography, but I wanted to explore and expand. So I am going to be trying some new stuff and seeing how that works. So I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you next time.